There's one. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a real good one. Good one. Fishing a thick lily pad field, especially on sunny days with no clouds and very little wind, I'm actually targeting the smallest openings I can find because on days like that, Bass will most likely be in spots with the most shade. So I'll throw my frog in the thickest group of pads, work it very aggressively to attract attention, and then when I reach one of those small openings, I'll abruptly stop the bait. In this clip you'll see the bass miss the frog, which does happen quite a bit when frog fishing, but more often than not, throwing back to the exact same spot on the next cast is going to result in another strike. As you can see from the type of cover I'm fishing, heavy tackle is the way to go here. Stout rod, braided line. Now full disclosure, I'm actually not using braid in this video. It's 15 pound mono. Obviously using braid is preferable, but I actually think it's more important that you have a good rod to pull those fish out of heavy cover. This is a seven foot ducket, medium heavy, really does the job well. If you have a good rod, and can tie a good knot. You can get away with using mono if you really had to. And actually I think what you'll miss more than the line strength is the no stretch quality of braid. You really lose out on hook set power when using mono. Get out of there. He hit that twice. He missed it the first time and then came back and got it. Which is something you're going to see a lot of in frog fishing. When the fish actually strikes once and misses, you want to be extra careful that you don't pull that frog away from the fish. Let it sit there for a few seconds and give the fish an opportunity to hit it again which is what happened in these two clips you're watching now.
In case you missed that, that was the bass actually hitting the frog as it was sitting on a lily pad. Which is very interesting to know that the bass can actually key in on the frog even when it's not in the water. That's just something to keep in mind as you work this bait across heavy cover like that. Thank you.